What's going on, Chris? Isaac, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I uh, appreciate the energy, man. First thing off the bat, what makes Power Book 4 different than any other power entry? Starting with you, Isaac. <laughs> what? Because it's Power Book 4, of course. And I, you're dealing with Tommy Egan. And I tell you like this because it's just, the thing about it is that everything else has been taking place in New York. Everything has been New York, New York, New York. Now, can we transition to how things are, are, are ran in a new city? You know what yeah. I mean? Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to all the deep rooted culture. Shout out, shout out to everything that, you know, Chicago's in, in, involved with. Shout out to Chris being from Chicago, representing Chicago. And, you know, and so I think that you're going to see this transition to a new city. And how does this, you know, Tommy come in with force, <laughs> pun intended, you know, yeah. and, and, and being and being involved and, and kind of disrupting the flow of the city of how the major players that are already moving, how they're moving. And I think everybody's going to try to figure it out and they're going to try to come to balance and the grips of the, what's really going on. What's we'll you, Chris? Well, how Chicago represented in this version of power? Uh, I think that Chicago is represented very well in this version of power. Uh, power Book Four Force shines a light on Chicago that I've never seen before. And I watch a lot of television. I'm not one of those actors who say, oh, I don't watch TV. I'm an actor. I'm, I'm creative. No, I watch a lot of television. Yeah. So, so for me, I've never seen Chicago shown in this way. There, There's... We show mansions maybe on the north side in the suburbs. You know, most shows, they just show the same B-roll, the same stock footage of Chicago, the same, we're going to see the Sears Tower. We're going to mm -hmm. see the United Center maybe, you know, but this show kind of takes you in those areas that a lot of film crews are honestly scared to go. Yeah. You know, uh, you, you, a lot of film crews are scared to go or a lot of stars of the shows are scared to be filming in these areas. But not our leader, Joseph Sikor. He's so connected to the people. He He's such a part of the culture that he belongs to us. Joseph Sikor, Tommy, belongs to the black culture. And Joseph Sikor, the person, doesn't shy away from that. He leans into it. And his comfortability being able to film in those environments is what takes our show to another level. He's also a Chicago native too, so it's Indeed. like you know that's it. He's a historian of the city, man. I tell you, he gives me all kind of knowledge of the city. I'm telling you, sit down, you'll learn some things, bro. Definitely, yeah. like yeah. Joseph is like that. So, Chris, let me ask you, who is Jannar and what his relationship is with Diamond? Have you saw a little bit of evolution of that in the first episode. What's the journey? What's the path for you and the character? Uh, Jannard is resilient. Jannard is resilient. Jannard is very intellectual. He could have went to Brown University, Ivy League scholar. He, he has that type of intellect. But I think with Jannard, you're going to see someone who's torn between, I think he still is torn between the life that he possibly could have had versus the life that he has now. And I think there's a resentment there because a part of him wonders what if, you know? And I think that's like the worst thing to live with in life is regret, you know? So I think that those emotions sit on Jannard and, and it, what causes him to have that loose cannon, if you will, because there's so much bottled up emotion of possibilities that are in him. So I think you are going to just see Jannar go through a journey spiritually and, and emotionally throughout this show. And the dynamic with our brother, our brother dynamic will be tested. It'll be tested, but it will be very prominent in the show. It, it, it's very necessary and it's needed. And me and Isaac feed off each other. And I think so do Diamond and Jannard. We need each other just as much as we want each other to fall in line. We also need each other. What's up? Thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your day. Appreciate it. Thank you.